And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. The Oscars still have a lot of people talking about it tonight, particularly about the moment when Jamie Lee Curtis won for Best Supporting Actress. Everyone at home could not help but notice the disappointment written on Angela Bassett's face. Take a look. And the Oscar goes to... <laughs> Jamie Lee Mm, some calling her a sore loser. Others are arguing it was a natural reaction. My panelists have their own thoughts. Joining me now here on The Factor on Tensor, Jay Mack from 97.9, DJ Superstar, Shanita Smith, and the legendary Willie D of the Ghetto Boys. Glad to have you all here on The Factor. Willie D, let's start with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Controversy. <laughs> My thoughts? Yeah, your thoughts. Well, um, I, first of all, I love the reaction. I love the reaction because it, it was authentic. And we live in a fake world. Everybody want to talk about keep it real. Now, when you keep it real, they want to call you a sore loser. But, you know, we live in a type of world where people say good morning when, when they're having a horrible day. You dig? So, I love it. The Oscars is the Super Bowl for people who act. And it was a big deal, you know. When people win the Oscars, an Oscar, it takes their, their bag way up out the roof. And so there's a lot on the line when you talk about winning these big awards like Oscars and Grammys and things like that. It's not a regular award. It can actually change your life winning one of those awards. So it's not just about, oh, you want to win the white man award. You know, <laughs> you want to be, why are you begging for, you know, their, their acceptance? It's not about that. It's like, this is what I do. This is my craft. This is the highest level. This is the pinnacle of, of, of success when you do what I do, and I want my recognition. All right, Shanita Smith, I'm sure you were pulling for Jamie Lee Curtis, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, <laughs> absolutely not. But, you know, she was authentic. And we live in a world where we are supposed to be our, our authentic selves, but she's being bashed for being her, her authentic self. But when you think about the Academy, it's not designed for black and brown people. So, you know, um, I, I, I didn't even watch it because I didn't feel like she was going to get her just due. And she didn't. You know, when you think about, she was nominated 30 years ago for a phenomenal role in What's Love Got To Do With It. I agree with you on that. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then, the but the only two people, only two people of color, Halle Berry, who's been in many, many movies, but she had to play a demeaning role yeah, of Monsters Ball. Ball. Oh, yeah. Denzel Washington. It's not designed for, for people like Angela. Yeah, and of course, of course, on the bigger scheme, what I was thinking about, of course, they didn't want a black queen Absolutely. to win. Because look, she's a queen. And I think <laughs> subliminally, you know, they, you know, like, hey, if she would have won, it's like telling the world, hey, <laughs> Black Queen. Oh, okay. Hey, I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. I was but I think so too. Hey. Is it a conspiracy like she was that? Though? <laughs> she well, was you know what? Though. Like the lady said, I think she should have won definitely um, the movie 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. She definitely should have won. Was she snubbed this year? Who knows? Maybe. I, I saw it. Enough people saw Jamie Lee Curtis in, that in movie. her movie. No. You know, and so I don't know. We I all saw But she wasn't snubbed. You I, saw, wait, wait. I saw her. Okay. Well, what, okay, she, so was she, it? She played an IRS auditor. And she did a good job, but she did a better job in Halloween Kills. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm talking about I'm talking about I the one in 2021. Yeah, like Halloween, that's like, what, that's like, what everybody along. knows. About. Jamie, she she plays very good in in horror movies. I mean, yeah. to, be, to be honest, right. she is one of my favorite actresses. Uh -huh. But Angela Bassett is. It was like oh, every yeah. interview, she's, it, she's it was like... A, um, Angela Bassett yeah. is on a different level but like, what I, I than anybody. I heard and read that from a lot of black people who were disappointed in Angela Bassett not getting the award. They all said, I like Jamie Lee Curtis, right. but... Right. Yeah. But... But don't we talk about this every year that, hey, maybe we should have our own award show? Now, Willie, he's talking about how this can change your life, but you don't like people to go to the Grammys, do you? Uh, <laughs> it, it, it depends. So, I'm, I'm just asking because no, no, I, I, I pay no, attention to what you no, say. Well, well it, it, it depends. Like I say, you know, it, it depends 
the Grammys, mm -hmm. the Oscars, these type of award shows are the apex of award shows. Uh -huh. And it's different from these other, th we can go and support the BET Awards, the Down the Street, the Down the Street Awards, that this is our thing, we love that, we're proud of that and all of that. But those producers, the people who run those shows have not put the opportunities in front of uh, the people who are nominated for these awards and who, are who win these awards, those opportunities, you don't get the same opportunities that you get after winning one of those awards as you do when you win a Grammy or an Oscar. And that, that may not be something that people want to hear, but that is the truth. I'm in the yeah. game for real. Yeah. But so, you know what? Wait, 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 hold on, hold up. They were setting her up the whole night. Every interview before um, oh, the show yeah. started, they, they kept saying, you're the front you're runner. You're the front runner. You're going to win. You're this and that. And then it was like, boom. So... I think everybody in that audience knew, including Jamie, probably was like, dang. But Angela is always the front runner. I mean, no, it's very yeah. difficult to beat her. She, she is, like, that performance she gave, even though, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to call a strike a strike and a ball is a ball. <laughs> even though Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, was wiggity wig whack, <laughs> all right? Angela Bassett gave a stellar performance. <laughs> Hold on. Was it really whack? Angela Bassett. Wiggity, wiggity, wiggity whack. But Angela Bassett gave a stellar performance. Her, form, her performance was, was emotionally <laughs> authentic. You know, like, you, it's hard to beat Angela Bassett. It's like watching the female version of Denzel Washington. Hey, y'all, that's yeah, Willie yeah, D. Y'all yeah, 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 go yeah, to yeah, his yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> 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 He said that. Wiggity, 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 wiggity.